All right, guys, we're going to get started with our velocity time graph notes. So the first thing we want to talk about is what is a velocity time graph? A velocity time graph is something that shows an object's velocity as a function of time. Therefore, it's just a regular graph is all that we're saying. On our graph, we're going to have a y and x-axis just like before. Our y-axis is going to have velocity and our x-axis is going to have time. We're going to see different types of lines on this graph. The first type of line that we're going to see is a horizontal line. A horizontal line just means that we have a constant velocity. And we said before that the slope of a velocity time graph gives us acceleration. So if we have no acceleration, that means that our velocity is not changing, which means that we'll have a horizontal line. The other type of line that we're going to see is a straight slope line. In this case, it means that velocity is changing. If velocity is changing, it means that we're experiencing acceleration, so we will have a constant acceleration there. Acceleration, again, is just the change in velocity over time, and we know that the change in something over something else is just fancy for saying the slope. It's important to note, though, that a positive acceleration does not always mean speeding up. On the flip side, we're going to have a negative slope, and a negative slope is going to mean a negative acceleration. And again, it's important to note that a negative acceleration does not mean slowing down. It can mean slowing down, but not always. So here's our first example that we're going to look at. Here we have a horizontal line on the velocity time graph, and we said a horizontal line is going to mean a constant velocity. Again, the reason why it's a constant velocity is because the slope of this line is zero. It means that it's not experiencing any change in velocity, which means that it's not experiencing an acceleration. No acceleration means constant velocity. We're going to note too that on this graph we have negative and positive values on our y-axis. If our velocity is positive, it's going to mean that we're moving away from the origin. Here we see that we have a positive velocity of around 3 meters per second, so we're moving away from the origin at a constant velocity. Here's another example. This time we see that we have a negative velocity. We see that our negative velocity is negative 3 meters per second. We see it's a horizontal line. Horizontal line tells us constant velocity. Negative is going to tell us that we're moving towards the origin. Think about the units of velocity. The units of velocity are meters per second. So negative meters per second means that I'm losing meters from my origin every second. If I'm losing meters every second, it just means that I'm getting closer and closer and closer to an object, which the only way I can get closer to an object is if I move towards it. Here's our last horizontal line example, and this one we see falls right on the x-axis. So the x-axis is just a zero velocity point. So in this case, we have zero velocity. And again, still a constant velocity, but it's a constant velocity of zero meters per second. Zero meters per second means that our object is at rest. It's not moving away, and it's not moving towards anything. It's just standing still. All right, our next one says, if the velocity time line has a positive slope, the object is undergoing acceleration in the positive direction. So in this case, we're going to look at two examples. The first one meaning if our velocity is positive as well. If our velocity is positive and the slope is positive, our object is speeding up. But if the velocity is negative and our slope is positive, our object is slowing down. And we're going to take a look at that right now. So here's our two examples. On the left, we can see that I have a positive velocity. It's above the x-axis. And it has a positive slope as well. The positive velocity means that I'm going from 1 meter per second to around 7 meters per second. So if I'm increasing from 1 to 7, that means that I'm speeding up. I'm above the x-axis, so I'm moving away from the origin. On the flip side, we see here we're starting at like negative 7 meters per second and ending at negative 1 meters per second. Our velocity is getting smaller and smaller. So in this case, we're actually slowing down. Because it's negative, we're moving towards the origin, but we're moving towards the origin at a slower rate over time. The other thing we want to talk about is if the velocity timeline has a negative slope and the object is undergoing acceleration in the negative direction. So if our slope is negative, but our velocity is positive, the object's going to be slowing down. On the flip side, if the slope is negative 
and the velocity is negative, we're going to be speeding up. Again, let's take a look at what that looks like. Here we have our two examples. Start with the one on the left again. On the left, we see that we have a positive velocity of somewhere around seven meters per second. And as time goes on, that velocity gets slower and slower and slower. It goes from seven meters per second to six meters per second, all the way down to one meter per second. So if my velocity is going from seven to one, that means that I'm getting slower. I'm also above the x-axis still. I also have a positive velocity. Therefore, I'm still moving away from the origin. On the right side, we see a negative velocity and a negative acceleration. This means that our object is speeding up. We can see that we're starting with a velocity of negative two meters per second. And as time goes on, that velocity increases all the way to negative seven meters per second. If my velocity is going from negative two to negative seven, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, meaning that I'm speeding up. The negative is telling me that my object is moving towards the origin, but the number itself is going from a small number two to a big number seven. And that is telling me that I'm speeding up. To summarize everything that we talked about, when our velocity and our acceleration have the same sign, it's going to mean that we're speeding up. So for instance, positive velocity, positive acceleration, or negative velocity and negative acceleration. On the flip side, if our velocity and acceleration have opposite signs, so positive velocity and negative acceleration, or negative velocity and positive acceleration, it's going to mean that I'm slowing down. My advice to you guys, look at your graph. See what the data is telling you. The positive just tells me that I'm moving away. The negative tells me that I'm moving towards. The size of the number is going to tell me if I'm speeding up or slowing down. If my number is getting bigger, I'm speeding up. If my number is getting smaller, I'm slowing down. A bigger number would be 1 meter per second to 10 meters per second, or negative 1 meters per second to negative 10 meters per second. A smaller number would be 10 meters per second to 1 meter per second, or negative 10 meters per second to negative 1 meters per second. Again, the negative is just telling me that I'm moving towards the origin. The positive is just telling me that I'm moving away from the origin. The size of the number is telling me whether I'm speeding up or slowing down.